Salutations anime and gamer fans. My name is Lisa the Amazonas and welcome to April was a fool. Happy first of April. Happy Fool's Day everybody. And of course because it's April Fool's Day I thought it'd be fun to have this play on for April Fool's. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. This looks like a cute little game. Um, It's, it's, a, it's another ultimate visual novel game that I usually play because let's face it that's that's all I get to do right now. Because I'm poor. Damn. But anyways, so apparently what has happened is you are a barmaid working your life away in order to be able to do something with your life. I don't know exactly. I really didn't read the description. But what happens is these five heroes come to you asking you to pretend to be one of their members for whatever benounced reason. I really didn't pay attention to any of this. So, yeah. Let's begin, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I need to work on my enunciation. Okay. <laughs> Here we go into my deep, deep narrative voice. Because I totally sound like that sexy guy from True Trailers or what, Honest Trailers. Yeah. Anyways, two years ago, six heroes were summoned to defeat a terrible dark overlord who was threatening the land. Their adventures met with success, and the Overlord was banished from this world. Peace returned, and the heroes were lauded by the people. However, peace is never consistent, and another evil force has risen to take control of the world. Though the presence has only just begun its rampage, the king notices the potential this threat holds, taking action immediately. Once again, these six heroes are called upon to fight! And this is their story. Good narrative, guys. <laughs> the castle of His Majesty King the Fourteenth. Yeah, doesn't even need a name. We just know he's the Fourteenth King of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, that's actually really cool. I'm looking at these statues right here. Like this one. This one looks like Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war tactics and crafts. Man. I, I'm sorry, I'm a huge Greek mythology nerd, as you probably saw in my first visual novel thing. Anyways, <laughs> um, the castle of His Majesty King the Fourteenth is well decorated with banners and candles and paintings. All 13 previous kings immortalized in marble statues stand outside the throne room. Their expressions are one that demands respect. Nothing at all like the current king. Ouch. Damn. This is the first time I've been inside the castle. I've always tried to picture it, but never could I have or, but never could I have imagined something quite this grand. My gaze drifts from the finely woven tapestries to the stern faces of the statues towards the ceiling. It's so high. Walls reaching up towards or it's so high, walls reaching upwards to meet it. The stained glass windows sparkled in the afternoon sunlight along the top, casting the hallways in a light that's dazzling and rainbow in color. I've been standing here for a while now. Four other people stand close by who have been here with me this entire time, waiting for the last member of our small group to finish his discussion with the king. The others had explained to me earlier that he was the only one with a high enough skill level in listening to actually hear the king's mumbled words. Wow, you, that's, a, that's a skill? Good job. Good job. I'm proud that you learned how to listen. Good job, whoever you are. The wallet in the front pouch of my dress is an ever-constant thought in my mind. It's why I'm here. It's why I'm still here. Even an hour's time spent standing here doing nothing was worth it for the amount of money they'd given me. Normally, I'd still be at work right now, but today, it turned out different. Maybe I should explain. What are we going to do? Ugh, calm down, Blakely. We just need to stop freaking out and think rationally. Yo, Eric! Or Erwin! My bad. Yo, Erwin! What are we going to do? I don't see any problem with... Or, I don't see any problem with just five of us go. 
That's why I didn't ask you. King summoned all six of us, and he's too senile to understand why only five of us showed up. It's a real pity what happened to April. I wish I could have been there. I ain't never seen someone get torn asunder by a dragon before. Would have been thrill er <laughs> would have been one thrill of a passion job. Weirdo. Stop, I don't want to think about that. Erwin! Hmm? Erwin, are you even listening to us? We're trying to figure out what are we- Look over there at that girl. Seriously, much as I don't mind looking at chicks, it's really not the time for- She- It's April! You know that's not possible. April's dead! I know, I... She sure does look like her. But I don't think anyone could have healed her up from how her body looked once the dragon was through with her. At least from what Blake told me. I bet that's the case. Of course not. It's not April, you idiot. She's... However, she does bear an uncanny resemblance. If we can be fooled by it, then His Majesty the King should fall for it easily. Excuse me, my lady. It's only my third day on the job, but I'm pretty used to responding to the patrons calling out for my attention when they need service. I approach the table of the man who just called me. He's rather handsome and wearing clothes of high quality, but there's something behind that smile that's hard to trust. His companions at the table with him did not appear to be that reliable either. To his right is a woman clothed in colorful silk with an almost predatory sneer, and to his left, an intimidating hulk of a man in what appears to be some sort of traveling priest clothes. Maybe. Across from the table are two younger looking boys dressed in armor. One wears leather and is smiling openly while the other is in light colored armor with an intricate design and nervous disposition. If one can wear such a thing. They're out their outfits suggest they're powerful, or at least wealthy, but I can't seem to shake the feeling of awe and dread that first caught me when I came over. Still, they're customers. I reach for my notepad to jot down their orders. Milady, my name is Erwin Gates. I almost dropped my notepad in shock. Oh, perhaps you've heard of me. Yes, Erwin Gates, the richest man alive. Mayor of Perk City and hero of the known world! God, you're a douche! Oh, everybody loves a douche! Of course I've heard of him! Everyone's heard of him! He helped defeat the Dark Overlords years ago! That would make the others at the table with him! <laughs> yeah, we're all world class heroes! World class heroes? What are they? Erwin grabs my hand, the action caught er yeah. Erwin grab, grabs my hand, the action enough to make my already trembling fingers drop my pen and my racing thoughts to freeze. He presses his lip lightly as uh, oh god, you're disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't I don't you did not have permission to touch me, sir. I would have bitch left you. I'm sorry. It would have happened. Oh my god, is that fox alive? Is that fox alive? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> there is a favor we must ask of you. Put away that notepad, my lady. For our favor requires you to spend some time in our company. When in the world could people like them what with someone like me? Well, we need you to be er. Uh, we need you to pretend to be an old acquaintance of ours for a short walk in the castle. The fact of the matter is, you look like our friend April before she was pulled into 20 pieces and her blood splattered over the snow-covered treasure of a dragon. I recoiled, clutching my hand close to me. I know fear must have been written all over my face. There weren't dragons in the castle though, right? What was the point of even telling me that? More importantly, why is he smiling? Ugh, Rose, you gotta scare the poor lamb. Ain't no one gonna want to pretend to be someone else after you up and tell them how she died. Fine. 
April was a cool chick. You like her. That didn't make anything he just said any better. I started to protest, hair swaying back and forth with my head. I guess- oh, I thought she was kidding. I guess you're right. I really can't say for sure you'd like her. We're not asking for much. We just need you to come to stand in the castle with us, and then it'll be over. No dragons, no overlords, no bandits, no ravens, no wyverns, or anything like that. Man, that was a long list. <laughs> yeah! The two of them are vastly more reassuring than the rest. Still... Okay, look. Enough beating around the bush with small talk. I can pay you handsomely if you do this favor. Like Kent said, all you need to do is stand in the castle. How many people can you say that were paid to stand in a castle? Sure looks like you need the cash. Dick! What the fuck? What's that supposed to mean? He hands me back my- wait, what? You stole my wallet! What the hell? What kind of man, gentleman, bitch person are you? God, what a fucking dick! Besides, it will be fun. Erwin does always talk anyway, so we can show you around the castle for a bit if you like. I mean, it would be cool. Yeah, yeah, the castle's pretty neat. I cannot do voices. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crossing my arms, I think it over. It's true what they said. Getting paid to stand in a castle would certainly be the simplest thing to do. Wait, wait a minute. Why do you need to go if only one of us is going to speak with the king? My, my, your intelligence is a bit higher than I- You, sir, can go fuck yourself. How about that? I don't have to help you guys. I don't have to get you out of a bind. I'm the one that looks like your little dead friend's doppelganger, so you can be at least a little bit nice to me. Jeez. <sighs> king always kisses his heroes on the head before they leave for good luck. He says his like lips are blessed by angels or some crap. That's why there's gotta be six of us. None of us has the heart to tell the king April died. Well, that's just fl flat out lazy. Oh, I'll tell him all for you in great detail first. Stop! <sighs> That'd make the man cry, Rose. The last thing we need is to have someone sit through some senile geezer crying all over us. Well, now you see what sort of predicament we're in. What's it gonna be? He's holding my wallet again, waving it back and forth, and making a big show of how empty it is. Just staying in a castle. I suppose that's really not so bad. Nodding, I agree to help them. Yay, it'll be nice to have six of us again. Blake reaches across the table to grab my hand. His smile is refreshing and helps stave off an impending sense of doubt and regret. Yeah, even if it's just for a little while, she can't come with us to save the world, Blake. I know. Gabby gives the younger boy a rough bop on the head and he lets go of my hands. Unless you want to follow in April's footsteps completely. Hike up a mountain and be gutted by row upon row of dragon teeth. I've got enough spells to keep you alive through the whole thing. You're creepy. You are downright creepy. There's that doubt and regret again. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. I hear another patron calling across the room for service, and I start to make my way towards him. Oh, hold up, lamb. Just ignore Rose. The man is as morbid as a necromancer, but he's not a bad guy. My feet freeze and I slowly turn back to face them. They're still all smiling at me, mustering up the best reassuring faces they can. True, in most cases they're missing the mark, but the effort is appreciated. Maybe we're getting off on a bad start. I'm Ken. What's your name? I introduce myself to them. Oh yay! I get to put my name! I get to choose a name! I love that. I love that I'm able to- I love stuff that lets me be able to customize. I, I think most women are like that. I think that's one of the main reasons why, like, uh... I- like, when it comes to video games, like, the favorite games that I have are all ones that let me customize my character, like Fable, Saints Row, uh, what else? <laughs> um... 
Oh no, I can't think of anything else that I've played. Oh, oh, Borderlands. My God. Like I know, I know that you know, you you choose a type rather than you know choose your gender. But I still love the siren. Oh my God, they're so sexy. Oh my God. Okay. Anyways, um, today my name is going to be um. Alicia. I like that name. I really like that. I wish my name was Alicia rather than just Lisa. I don't know why. I just I just like the name Alicia. Alicia, a barmaid who just started working a few days prior in hopes to raise enough money to attend classes at Hero Academy in Park. Oh, Hero Academy. I remember my days there. Oh, I wonder, what's a dame such as yourself hoping to study there? Oh, I get to choose? Okay, okay. Um, destruction magic, swordsmanship, healing magic, roguery, or politics. Ha. Okay, so... I have three. I have three that I really like. I like destruction magic, swordsmanship, and roguery. Destruction magic is because we get to blow shit up, man. Fuck yeah! Chaos in this world would be amazing. Well, no, not chaos in this world, but me being able to destroy shit, that would be awesome. But swordsmanship, I actually took fencing as a kid along with a couple of other self-defense stuff. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't get to stay long in any of those stuff. <laughs> um, and roguery. Roguery is, uh, it's a, it's, isn't that like a mixture of a whole bunch of stuff? Like being a thief and, you know, basically being a badass and being outside the law like an outlaw. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to do roguery because <laughs> my last name is actually legally, well, my maiden name. My maiden name was actually Outlaw. So, yeah, that sounds like cool. I'm not even kidding you. My maiden name is literally Outlaw. I'm not even, like, Outlaw. O-U-T-L-A-W. Because apparently everybody thinks I say in-law or at-law. But it's out-law. Like, you know, cops and robbers, shit like that. An out-law. I'm gonna be a roguery. <laughs> That's amazing. It suits you well, I think. Can't clasp me on the back while he laughs with excitement. His, he's stronger than he looks. When he stops, I sheepishly rub my back, hoping he doesn't notice. He doesn't. <laughs> How fortunate. With that money you'll earn from doing us this little favor, you'll easily be able to attend all classes you need and then some. You can walk right out of this job and never have to worry about a single serving table again. I totally said that last bit wrong. <laughs> He hands me back my wallet, I take a quick peek inside, and just like that, it's overflowing with cash. Oddly enough, the picture of my mother is still missing. Strange. I guess I'll have to ask him about that later. No! Why would- why would- no! Demand now! Be like, bitch, give me back my picture! That is my mom, you weirdo freak! And that's how I met five of the six legendary world-class heroes who had saved the world once before and were hoping to save it again. Da da! Awesome! We got a character sheet. Erwin Gates, age 27. Man, you're 27? Weirdo. I don't know why that's weird. I don't know. Uh, level 80, class rogue. Oh, you're a rogue too. That would make sense. It's You stole my wallet, you prick. Occupation, mayor. Place of birth, perk. Special skills, luck picking, expert hearing, and disarm trap. Hobbies, traveling, likes money and expensive cheeses. Ew, ew. Why, what? I don't get how people can like cheese. Just cheese by itself. Like if it's cheese like on pizza or on crackers or in soup, I would understand. But eating cheese by itself is gross to me. I don't know why. Dislike annoying people. We are on the same page right there, sir. Erwin Gates, the richest man in the world and rumored to be one of the smartest. He claims his role in saving the world is strictly confidential. Maybe he was their benefactor. Gabby Embers, age 32. Damn, girl, you look good for a 23-year-old. Damn, you shut your stuff. <laughs> uh, level 75. Well, 32 is not really that old. I don't know. Class, mage, occupation, her or hero, birthplace, Easter, special skills, uh, what MP cost, MP regeneration, elemental resist, hobbies, burning things, 
likes fire and smelt of burnt woods, dislike incompetence. Let me guess, you're a fire mage, aren't you? Gabby Embers, a mage from the eastern town who said was wanted in several towns for arson. Yep, you're a fire mage. Before she saved the world and was cleared of all charges. Kent Kitson, son of Kent. <laughs> that is an awesome. Yeah, I think that box is alive because a few seconds ago, like, his eyes were wide open. Aw, look at you. You got a little back footing. Age 22. Oh, you're only a year younger than me. Uh, level 58. Class Berserker. Occupation? None. Place of birth? Winter. Special skills? Dual wield. Hobbies? Taming animals? Likes? Peace? Cookies with milk? Oh my god. Me too, man. You wanna, you wanna share a box of Oreos and a big tall glass of milk? We will make a date. We'll go and do that. We'll have so many Oreos and just have so much fun with them. This likes fighting. I know. That was a total whatever. Who cares? Um... Kent Kinson, son of Kent, a young boy from the northern town of Winter, and it is said he had landed the final blow against the previous threat of the world. Maybe it only had one HP left? <laughs> oh, but he's pretty strong. If he's a berserker, he's pretty damn strong. Gun Rose. Oh, I get it. Gun and roses. Good job. Okay. Age 25, level 80. Class Priest. Occupation Priest. Place of birth. Perk. Special skills, group healing, concentrations, and heal plus. Hobbies, drawing and singing. Oh, me too. Likes, charity works, dislikes car owners. So you're not really that bad. I mean, he looks creepy, but he's about to... Wait, does he have a Sailor Moon one? Are you the real person of the Pretty Guardians? Are you the leader of the Sailor Pretty Guardians? <gasps> My whole mind has been blown. I'm just kidding. I'm just being stupid. Gunrose, a brash man from Perk City. He dresses like a bad guy, but apparently his skills as a healer can't be rivaled. Also, the others assured he's a good singer. Oh, really? You want to go to a karaoke bar? We'll go to a karaoke bar because Oklahoma doesn't have them, really. And nobody will go with me. So you and me, we'll go to a karaoke bar, okay? <laughs> Lake Embers. Oh, are you really? On. Yeah, you're you're related to her, aren't you? I'm gonna read the bottom thing first. Blake Embers, Gabby's younger brother. His skills with the sword were said to be second to only one, April, though his confidence holds him back. Blake Embers, age 23. Oh, we're the same age! Okay, cool. Level 23, class warrior. Occupation, hero. Place of birth, eastern. Special skills, hero prophecy. What's hero prophecy? Are you... Are you psychic? Dude, that'd be epic. Okay, hobbies collect swords, likes sour foods, stories about heroes, dislikes his own lack of skill. Okay. My beautiful friends, I have returned once more. One king skillfully comprehended and conversed with one mission ready to tell. Ugh, it's about damn time. I think my feet were starting to root here. We took Alicia around the castle a few times, so I don't think your feet were going to turn into a tree, Gabby. <sighs> no fun. Well, what did the old guy have to say? Allow me to paraphrase. It's not going to be a paraphrase at all. He clears his throat. Yep. He clears his throat in a dramatic manner, hunched over a little bit to impersonate, impersonate the feeble old king. Oh, I'm guessing. My dearest own, most beautiful- No. No, this isn't a paraphrase, it's exaggeration. My dearest own, most beautiful man alive, I am so glad to lay eyes upon your flawless prestige once more. I have only grave news for you. A fact that puts me in great sorrow, but your gorgeous eyes help to lift my spirits once more. You're full of yourself, you dipshit. Watch out, this sounds like a king wants in your pants. <laughs> Does it everyone, Gab? My, my dear? Are you gay? I sure as hell don't. <laughs> I like, oh my god, look at this. The fogs of can't we're like, uh, nope. We straight, bro. We straight. <laughs> oh, 
one exception to the rule. I don't. Not one bit of this is count as paraphrasing, Erwin. Get on with it already, before I gotta do something drastic like bruise those beautiful gorgeous eyes of yours. <laughs> ah, I'm agreeing with you. And then heal me afterwards, I should hope. Yeah, so I can proceed to breaking your running mouth and then heal it too so you can apologize. <laughs> <laughs> His grace has tasked us with finding and destroying the entity known as evil before it cloaks the world in darkness. Well, original name. Good job. Who needs a kid evil? <laughs> they were just asking for this, you know. Maybe they're masochists. <laughs> sure. How are we going to defeat something like that? Well, we saved the world before. I don't see why we can't do it again. But we had April before. A silence overtakes the Grand Hall, settling between the marble statues and the lingering and lingering along the thick car carpet. I look between them. Each has their faces down tight. Head hung low, eyes directed towards the floor. Erwin's hands are balled so tightly his nails are digging into his skin. Blake looks ready to cry. It's obvious whoever this April was, she was meant to, she meant a great deal to them. I know I can't replace that, but I should but I should say something to raise their spirits. I'll apologize. I don't know. Right. Even without April, I'm... We're still... April. Okay, guys. Let's focus on the mission. Where'd the king say this evil guy was? Erwin didn't answer. His head still drooped back... Or drooped downwards. Erwin, step out of it! <laughs> With a dagger-like jab, Gabby strikes Erwin's arm and brings him back to his senses. The awkward yelp gets Blake's attention as well. He, he didn't know. Well, that's a pain. The last time, his seers were able to get us right to the final boss. Yeah, oh, I look at him. He's so cute. Ah! The seers have done their best, but... They were unable to track down the exact location of evil. Apparently, its magic is rather powerful, and its influence has spread throughout many places, making it hard to pinpoint. However, they were able to locate a few places where it had been pulled. What do you mean by that? They found the or they found the town it originated. Yeah. They found the town it originated from. A small and humble, humble hamlet located on the skirts of the forest called Hick Village. Wow! Dick? A castle quite foolishly named Castle Evil has been used as its dwelling several times in the past. Also, there's a small laboratory outside of Perk City that is being used to build weapons of impressive power that is believed to have connections with. Aw, oh, come on, man. You're the mayor of Perk, and you didn't notice some lab being built right next to your town? I noticed. I figured it might draw in some interesting new business. The expansion of the town is about more than just kicking up suspicious-looking buildings the second they appear. You let them build an evil lab. Erwin starts tapping his foot relentlessly against the carpeted floor. I didn't know it was evil! <sighs> Whatever, yo. Let's not argue between each other, especially over Erwin's mor or morality. That's a topic that is as old as the sun. What is the mission? Normally, April would decide. 
Jeez, ouch, you guys are mean. They start to slip into another round of silence, but it seems pretty straightforward to me. We head to Death Peaks. Whoa, 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 why Death Peaks? No one mentioned Death Peaks. Death Peaks was not any of the options just now. Are you trying to get us killed? We already know the third. We already know that's usually... We already know that's usually Rose's main goal. That's no good. We can't do that. I'm not going to die. I don't want to go there. So, I've got magic for you, kid. It's cool. <laughs> he pats Blakely... Er, he pat... He pats Blake lightly on the back, but from the looks of Blake's face, guns light will er, guns lightly is about as light as a horse stepping on her foot. <laughs> That's why you wear thick boots when you go near horses. Tennis shoes ain't gonna do jack shit. I have got my toes smashed on millions of times by horses. And yet I still miss my horse. Anyways. I'm only two years younger than you. I'm not a kid. Look, shouldn't we start by... Let's go to... Or, let's... Let's head to the village and burn the ruddy place to the ground. Huh? What good is that gonna do, sis? Never heard of a megalomaniac who wants to take over the world using his hometown as his base of operation. What should we... Or, what should we do and head to... Wait... What should we do and head to the... Oh, uh, what we should do is head to the... Okay. What we should do is head to the lab near Park. And burn it to the ground! <laughs> Flames rippled across Gabby's arm. Surprisingly, her robes did not burn up. Though I shouldn't be that shocked. Most mages find armor suited to their needs. Her robes are likely fireproof. Can you not do that? I'll do what I want, Rose! We will not be setting a building near the magnificent city of Perk on fire, Gabs, my dear. What we will do is infiltrate this laboratory and steal what secret doomsday weapons evil has hidden inside. Can't we just take it up with the Utopia Makers? His voice is nervous, each one coming out with cheerful, plotted diction. From what I have learned damn it. From what I've learned of our time together, that seems unusual. Please, Ken. Please, Ken. Everyone knows that the UM is practically useless. That's not true. Just last month, my dad bought the conflict of winter and summer to the UM, and they solved it peacefully. They can really do great things. Now, dad and I got, or uh, now dad and I go over there and have tea and cookies with the elders of summer pretty often. I bet evil would join tea and cookies. <laughs> I bet evil would enjoy tea and cookies too. Oh, you're so adorable. Hex, no, he wouldn't, Kent. Get a grip and a reality check. My plan is the best. Burn it all in, or burn down his hometown, and he'll be forced to come out hiding for revenge. Then we put him in, or put him back in whatever. Then we punt him back to the whatever hole he crawled out of. Gabs, he can't crawl back to whatever hole he crawled out of. If you literally burnt the hole he crawled out of the ground, to the ground. I'm talking about wherever he's hiding now, not his mother, you prick. Clamp your yappers and just admit it already. My plan is the best! Death Peaks. Every final boss hides at Death Peaks. The Overlord wasn't at Death Peak. They have a castle called Castle Evil. Why is no one suggesting we go there? That is their base. They named it after themselves, and it's a castle. Why dirty our heads with fighting at all if we can just get into the lab and steal everything it was going to use to take over the world? No offense, Erwin. I don't really want to have anything to do with that stuff either. I would donate it to the king and the city of Castell. Naturally. 
Then you'd hawk it back into your own little collection. Nah, we ain't putting that stuff anywhere near you! You shame my good name, my dear Gabrielle. It's Gav or it's Gabby. Or it's your head in the frying pan. If April were here, she would have uh, have us already out the door and on our way. April would have wanted us to take the more peaceful route. Let's go to the UM and ask them politely request evil not to take over the world. April got eaten by a dragon because she wanted to steal all of its gold. Think you're giving her charity too much credit. As much as she was magnif as much as she wasn't a magnificent woman gun, that wasn't exactly what she wanted to. And then she was going to donate that money to the poor. What? No, she wanted to fight the dragon because April would have wanted us to go to the UM. Yo, how many times did you suggest to April that we go to the UM over the last two years we've been together? Um, I think about 15 different times. And how many times did we go to the UM? Once. Let's burn Hick Village! Here's an idea. Why don't we let the lady decide? They all look at me for the first time since they started bickering. Five sets of eyes, the eyes of heroes. I suppose that sounds pretty daunting, but they're all idiots. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I agree with Erwin. Me too. You should help us pick with Elisa. One last thing while you stand in for April. I, of course, also agree with Erwin. Sure, why not? You seem like a well enough gal to leave in charge of our fate. Shoot it, babe. What's the answer? I'm gonna leave it here! Oh my god! Okay, so this is a little bit different than the usual anime manga type ultimate games I usually play, but I still like it. it it has a good storyline, the characters are interesting and unique, and I'm so excited to see what this, or how this goes. I'm so excited, I really hope that, you know, I don't die, because I have a feeling that's a possibility in this. But we'll find out with what road I take, and if I end up with any of them, because I don't know how that's supposed to go. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and slash or subscribe. If you want to see more videos I've done, please check out my stuff here on YouTube or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And if you have anything you want to tell me personally, leave it in the comment section below or on the other two videos I just listed off. But